video, I'm going to tell you 10 different avenues to sell your artwork. This video is for you if you have been thinking for a while to start selling but don't know where to start from. Hi, my name is Mona Frey and I have 20 plus years of experience in technology sales. I started my art journey in 2020 and I started selling my watercolor paintings from month two onwards. Selling is second nature to me. This video is designed for beginners, but if you already sell your work, there might be some avenues which you haven't yet explored, so it's worth watching till the end. Before we get started, I wanted to say very quickly that you can now download my free PDF template, which has five tips on completing a 30-day art challenge. The template also comes with a Notion digital planner to document your journey and keep you organized. The link is in the description below. Let's start with the first avenue, printables. They are really famous these days. A printable is a graphic design in the form of a digital download. Examples include art prints, calendars, etc. You can either sell printables on Etsy or your own website or both. Setting up a shop on Etsy is very easy. However, driving sales is not that easy because of SEO and other factors. If you want to learn more about printables, you can watch Sandra's video as it's quite detailed. I leave the link below. The second avenue is subscribing to CAFE, which stands for Call for Entry. CAFE is the leading online application for managing calls for entry, designed by and for artists. You can find art tenders and exhibition calls from various organizations on this platform. I participated in two art tenders in 2020 and 21, which was released by the Pennsylvania Medical Center in Enola and Lancaster. Eight of my paintings are in the permanent collection of these two hospitals. Okay, now let's talk about the third avenue, which is contacting your local art associations or art centers and becoming their member. Some of the art centers run member exhibitions several times a year. This gives you a good opportunity to show your work to the public. This is the picture of my first ever exhibition through Hershey Art Center in Pennsylvania in 2020. I moved from the US to Amsterdam in October 2021. My painting was priced at $150. It didn't sell, but it gave me a big boost. The fourth avenue is cafes, not the cafe I spoke about earlier, I mean coffee shops now. I got in touch with my local cafes and asked if I could exhibit my paintings. A few cafes responded and agreed. I was able to sell quite a few of my paintings through them. I highly recommend that you explore this avenue. It's also a good opportunity to interact with customers while you're setting up your art. I sold two of my paintings while I was setting up and these two decided to post for my paintings. Remember to be social. Speaking of being social, the fifth avenue is local markets, events or festivals. There are farmers markets, art markets in most of the cities. Try to set up a booth and exhibit there. Word will spread and your paintings will sell over time. I participated in one of the exhibitions organized by Greenlight Operation in Pennsylvania. I sold four of my paintings there. Commission is the sixth avenue. You can start with your family and friends for free. Ask them if you can paint their pets or houses or portraits. Once you get comfortable, you can start informing your buyers that you do commission as well. Next, if you conduct art workshops, you can inform your students that you also sell your artwork. If you want to get tips on conducting workshops, do check my video, link in the top right corner and in the description below. Gallery representation is the 8th avenue. There is no harm in getting in touch with your local galleries and asking them if they can represent you. Don't be afraid to hear a no. Remember, if you don't try, you won't succeed. The 9th avenue is selling original paintings or prints or digital downloads through your website and promoting it on social media. If you don't have a website yet, you can watch my video where I teach artists how to make a website. I leave the link below or you can click in the top right corner. Our last avenue is the most underrated avenue, Facebook Marketplace. I sold my first ever painting for $35 in the second month of creating watercolor paintings and it was this small 5x8 unframed unmatted painting. If you haven't yet explored Facebook Marketplace, I highly recommend that you do. I had no idea back then how to price my paintings. I thought I should start small and explore if my paintings would sell and they started selling. Every week I was selling at least one painting. I also started to build relationships with my buyers. I remember one buyer bought five paintings and then requests started coming in for framed paintings. So I raised my price from 35 to 95. This didn't happen overnight. 
Selling is about making relationships and that takes time. My paintings are priced at much higher rate now. And don't worry if you were not making notes. I have compiled all my 10 points in this document. Feel free to download it. Link is in the description below. I'm not telling you that if you do everything what I say, you will start selling. But if you don't try, you will never know. Remember that you're being very brave if you've decided to show your work to the world. Be proud of yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you do something different so that I can learn as well. I'm sure there are many other avenues to sell, but these are tried and tested by me. Hopefully, you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please do give a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you soon.